Kiko, KB9 VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community. And today, we're going to talk about the uh, Bouge RV 120 watt monocrystalline solar panel. Now, personally, I'm no stranger to Bouge RV products. I've purchased their larger 180 watt solar panel about a year ago for the uh, solar project on my uh, uh, camping teardrop trailer. So. Um, that panel has performed very well over the last year, and I'm really quite pleased with it. So uh, recently, Bouge RV reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in doing a review on their smaller 120 watt panel. Well, I really jumped at the chance to do that. Uh, but in full disclosure, uh, this panel was provided to me by Bouge RV uh, in exchange for a review, but my opinions are my own and there's no outside influence to what I'm going to say about this panel. Uh, why you, you might ask, why a 120 watt panel? Uh, why not get something larger? Uh, now, 120 watts, I think, is sort of the sweet spot when it comes to uh, solar installations for, say, um, RVs, uh, camping trailers, uh, motorhomes, uh, things like that. And um, the nice thing is, is that with a 120 watt panel, you can hook two of these up in parallel and um, they'll produce uh, the, just the perfect amount of power for a 20 amp uh, charge controller. The 20 amp controllers are, are very common. Uh, if you take four of these panels and hook them up in sort of a two series, two parallel configuration, uh, that's excellent for a 20 vol 24 volt system and will um, provide even, even more power for your solar needs. So think of this panel as kind of a building block as part of a larger um, solar, solar project or installation. And um, building blocks kind of get me into uh, what, um, what I want to say about uh, Bouge RV in that they offer a one-on-one -on -one solar support to help guide you through the planning design process and also the installation of their solar projects, you know, be it it's going to be on your home or a trailer or an RV or something like that. So a technical support really is only an email away or um, they do have a lot of info, they do provide a lot of information and a full instruction manual uh, with these, with their solar products. Uh, this panel measures 38 and a half inches by 26.3 inches. It's about uh, 1.6 inches deep. Uh, the monocrystalline panel is surrounded by an aluminum frame. This is all uh, weatherproofed. On the frame itself, there's been pre-drilled holes uh, for these uh, Z brackets. Uh, these Z brackets come with the 120 watt panel. Uh, so you get, you get four of these brackets and also the necessary hardware to, to attach the brackets to the panel and also uh, mount the panel to, uh, to a frame or say the roof of your RV or something of that nature. On the back of the panel, and I'm just going to lift this up here, uh, is an IP65 weatherproof housing. Uh, inside, the, um, inside that power housing is a protection diode and also a 15 amp fuse for series connections. So you can hook two of these up in series and you've, you've got that 15 amp fuse to sort of protect yourself. Two power leads with the MC4 connectors. So it's all pre-wired. It's just, this is, you know, we're, we're right really um, sort of in a plug and play solution here. You know, you can plug and play, you know, panels and series are parallel. Uh, you can also plug and play into your charge controller. And um, that kind of brings me to what I'm going to do with this panel. So um, plans are for this is to build a frame. I'm going to build a wood frame for this. Uh, attach the panel to the wood frame using the Z brackets. And then I have um, a spare charge controller. I'm gonna hook everything up to the controller and see if we can generate some power. So stick around.
and everything is hooked up and it we're generating power. <laughs> uh, my frame here is just um, kind of a quickly quickie uh, construction project. Uh, my woodworking skills are mediocre to decent. So uh, this is just something I kind of put together uh, uh, freehand without a, without a whole lot of planning, but um, it's, it's doing the job. It's holding the panel, it's supporting it. Uh, this is the, you know, like I said, this is the Bougier, the 120 watt uh, monocrystalline uh, solar panel. I just want to read a couple of the specs off for you on the back side. Maximum power, 120 watts. Maximum power voltage, 17.68. Maximum power current, 6.79 amps. Open circuit voltage, 22.1. Short circuit current, 7.13 amps. And the operating temperature limits, minus four Fahrenheit to 167 degrees Fahrenheit. So this panel will work in a wide variety of, of temperatures. Uh, these panels work great, um, like I said, on top of your RV or motorhome or camper. I've had my 180 watt panel on, on the roof of my camper all last year, 70 miles an hour, uh, no problem, you know, uh, 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 driving down the highway, had absolutely no problems with that, no problems with water penetration or anything like that. So these things, these are good panels, They're just sealed up really well and um, an excellent choice for um, RV applications. Uh, we're, right now we're generating uh, 0.4 amps of power. Uh, the sun is kind of is really off sides on, on, on my panel right now. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to have to rotate things a little bit. Uh, this is just a, a, a PWM, a pulse width modulation charge controller, not a real fancy one. So I'm sure with an MPPT we could probably generate uh, a little bit more energy. It's feeding into my 20 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery and we're charging the battery so this whole thing works. I'm just going to rotate the panel a little bit see if that makes a difference. And sure enough, as I rotate it, uh, we jumped up. So um, we're generating electricity. It's doing its job. Okay, uh, fast forward to the next day. Uh, we got a lot better sunlight out here. Full sun, uh, midday, a little bit of haze in the sky. And I set the panel out into the full sun, away from the trees, and it is pulling a full six amps. That's really close to the uh, 120 watts that this panel is rated for. So I'm gonna say that the, the Bouge RV 120 watt monocrystalline panel is a resounding success, thumbs up. And also, uh, Bouge RV's been generous enough to give us a discount code. So if you're interested in purchasing one of these panels, uh, be sure to um, check out the discount code on the link in the video description. That'll save you a little bit of cash uh, if you decide to get one. So uh, thank you, Bouge RV, for supplying the panel to, uh, to test. It's running great. Uh, and thanks for that discount code also. Uh, questions, comments, leave them in the video, video comments down below. Uh, I'll try to answer those the best I can. And um, as always, I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day in 73. But if you tuned into this channel to see my woodworking skills, you will be sorely disappointed. Ugh. <laughs>